How to convert currency in Google Sheets. Rather than finding currency conversion rates manually, you can import up-to-date and historical currency exchange rates using the Google Finance function in Google Sheets. Using these rates, you can convert any currency to another in your spreadsheet. As the name suggests, the Google Finance function takes advantage of accurate financial data available from Google itself. The Google Finance function is capable of pulling in current, real-time data about the financial markets. That includes exchange rates, which, when inserted into your spreadsheet using Google Finance, will update every 20 minutes. The format for a Google Finance formula to find the current exchange rate is equals Google Finance Currency, USD GBP, where you can replace USD and GBP with other suitable three-letter currency codes. The example above shows the then current USD to GBP rate. In the example above, the currency codes are used within the formula itself, but you can also refer to these separately. To do that, type your currency codes in two individual cells, for instance, USD in cell A1 and GBP in cell B1. In a third cell, type equals Google Finance Currency and A1 and A2. Replacing A1 and A2 with the appropriate cell references for your spreadsheet. These rates above show the exchange rates listed in column A to column B. The Google Finance formula used in C2, for instance, shows the rate from US dollars to British pounds. This value, 0.7691, shows one US dollar converted to British pounds. To convert a larger currency figure, you can multiply the larger value against this rate. For instance, to convert $100 to British pounds, you would multiply that figure, $100, against the exchange rate value, 0.7691. Generated using the Google Finance function, the example above shows three different USD figures in column B converted to GBP. The Google Finance function is used in cells A3 to A5, returning the then current USD to GBP rate. By multiplying the USD figure in column B against the USD to GBP exchange rate in column A, the converted GBP amount is returned in column C. The Google Finance function can also be used to provide historical exchange rates. It will list the rate at the end of each day, for a period specified by you. This could be for a single day, a week, a month, or longer. To do this, Click on an empty cell and type equals Google Finance Currency, USD GBP. Price. Date, YYYY, um, DD. Date, YYYY, um, DD. Where the first nested date function is the start date, and the second date function is the end date. Replace YYYY with the year, um, with the month, and DD with the day for both nested date functions. You'll also need to replace the currency codes to match the currencies you're looking to exchange. If you only want to display a single date, you can use equals Google Finance Currency, USD GBP. Price, date, YYYY, um, DD, instead. Using other functions like today in place of the date function, you can also have a rolling list. This means your list will update every day. You can display the last seven days. For instance, the today function is used as the end date, meaning your list always updates to show currency exchange rates, in this instance, from USD to GBP, for the past seven days. If you wanted to do this over a longer, or shorter, period, simply change the number used with the first nested today function from 7 to another number. Text source, howtogeek.com.